you came across this question in your chemistry exam how will you solve it it is very easy now let's solve together the question says a particle that contains nine protons 10 electrons and 10 neutrons is a option a is a positive ion b neutral atom c negative ion and d none of the above now this question is extremely very easy now let's solve together me looking at this my mind will go over to a concept in chemistry and it's simply called the atomic structure remember an atom is made up of three important subatomic particles any atom at all are you following me so on this we have to understand that i just said that an atom is made up of what three important subatomic particles and what are these subatomic particles me i call them pen i call them pen p-e-n protons electrons and neutrons are you following me now so we have different ways an atom can be represented but in the context of solving this question i will represent an atom like this an atom is represented with symbol x x means an unknown atom we actually don't know the atom that is that that is x but all atoms should contain protons electrons and neutrons are you following me now and an atom also have in its representation a up here and also z down here a has its own name z has its own name for a a should be labeled as what we call atomic mass if we don't call it atomic mass we can as well call it mass number please listen carefully it's very easy are you following me and if you don't call it mass number or atomic mass we simply call it the last name called nucleon number take note nucleon number nucleon number not neutron or nucleus so on this what is z z it's simply regarded to be called atomic number what did i say atomic number if i don't call it atomic number i will simply call it proton number proton what number so this question is not asking an atom this word particle can also be replaced by atom this word particle can also be replaced with the word atom are you guessing me now so this question is not asking us an atom or a particle that has all of these informations an atom that has a uh, proton number to be nine electron number to be ten neutron number to be ten as well is what type of atom is it a positively charged atom as seen here which is called an ion you know a, a charged atom should be called what an ion anything that has charge in it should be called an ion should, the answer should be called a positive ion a neutral atom neutral means that atom doesn't have a charge at all or negative ion or none of the above so how do we now actually locate what type of atom this particular element is now here is a simple trick please note this atoms in general can be of two kinds we have neutral atoms listen we have neutral atoms and also we have charged atoms listen carefully we have all neutral atoms and also we have charged atom for a neutral atom listen for a neutral atom proton number is always equal to electron number for a neutral atom whereby for a charged atom proton number is not equal to electron number listen carefully what did i say for a charged atom proton number is not equal to what electron number on this you know for an atom to be charged it can be either positively charged it can be either positively charged or what negatively charged are you following me now but you have to just understand that if the atom has a charge then proton number should not equal to electron number so let's look at the information given to us if you observe proton was nine electron was ten are they equal no they are not equal so definitely the answer to be to this question is going to be the charged atom but i don't know if it's either positive or negative i didn't know that option b is already out because it can't be a neutral atom do you understand because if you are neutral proton electron should be the same are you following me now on this so how do we now solve this question to know exactly if this atom is actually charged or neutral to know exactly if this particular atom in this question given is actually positively charged or negatively charged there is a trick though but it's best you understand the rudiments on how this works do you understand so let us progress okay guys moving further now please note what i'm about saying 
in the loop of things where they arrive that this atom or this particle given to us has a charge but we don't know the charge if it's, if it's either positive or negative so i'm about wiping what all of this mean i believe you know what a mean and also what z mean because now this atom has a charge we don't know if it is positive or negative that's what we are finding what that's what we want to find now so listen carefully now how for instance we are not giving proton electron and neutron number how do we determine it it's simple proton number is always the value that is down so for instance here is 11 what becomes your proton number 11 but they're already giving us the proton number to be what nine already i'm just explaining something that will help us solve this question so in this context should the proton electron number be equal no because it is a charge at all but we don't know if it's either positive or negative that's what we're about finding so now the question now asks me how do i now because to get neutron is simple neutron is self by saying a minus z what is up minus what is down but how do we not get electron for instance we're not giving listen electron was given but how do we get electron because it's going to help us solve this question to know specifically what charge is in this atom to get if it's either positive or negative so on this electron number is solved by saying proton number minus charge proton number minus what charge because we already know that this atom has a charge but we don't know if, it, if it's either positive or negative that is why we have to know this formula written now which is electron number is equal to proton number minus charge so then let us calculate for the charge together simple like a b c d so for we to calculate for the charge we have to make this charge subject of formula and it's extremely very easy so let's say this charge comes over to this side crossing the equality sign is going to be just charge without this minus are you following no it's minus charge but when it crosses it's going to be just charge is equal to listen carefully your proton number remains electron is supposed to go do you understand electron will go to cross your quality sign it was positive electron when it crosses become negative electron are you following me so what becomes our charge class to what the proton number proton number is given to the equation is nine are you getting me now nine minus what's the electron number electron number is 10 so what becomes the charge charge is going to be equal to 9 minus 10 9 minus 10 that is minus 1 wow so this particular atom has a negative charge so then it is a negative ion so then the answer to this question becomes option c it is extremely very easy but now listen to this trick whenever you are giving practice questions like this in the exam and the electron number is, is higher than the proton number know that you know normally if they are not the same they it's regarded to be called an ion but we don't know if it's if it is that possible or negative but now i'll be explaining to you how to actually just get it without you know doing the calculation but it's best to know how to solve it do i just solve this very very easy so if your electron number supersedes proton if electron number is greater than proton it is negative or if the uh, proton number is now higher than the electron number it should be positive do you understand what i just said it is extremely very easy so we've come to the end of this video lesson if you find my video lesson helpful make sure you click on the subscribe button to my channel and also share my videos with your friends thanks for watching okay guys here is your own practice question so you solve and provide the answer in the comment section it's extremely very easy just look at what i just said and solve with the pattern and then solve with the other concept i said and then you know you'll be able to get the answer without stress thanks for watching to have more understanding about chemistry calculations and solving all of these type of questions i already have them on the chemistry masterpiece okay which is calculations and keynotes in chemistry so if you are preparing to write the jam exam this book is very very important for you now for more information getting the chemistry masterpiece do well to direct message me via my whatsapp number it will be on the screen